Good day, dear friends. My name is Alexander, and you're watching the Eco Greenhouse channel. Today, one of the questions we wanted to discuss and highlight is top ventilation for greenhouses. The main focus today will be on commercial greenhouses, but we will also touch on backyard greenhouses. One of the ventilation options we are considering is natural ventilation, that is, Natural ventilation can be frontal ventilation, side ventilation, and top ventilation. We've made a separate video about side ventilation. You can follow the link to watch it in more detail, and today we'll touch on top ventilation. This means that in the main dome at the top of the greenhouse, vents and transoms are made. They can be point-like, that is, opening with one block, that is, a real opening, or they can be solid, that is. They open along the entire length. Top ventilation is a rather complex element because it is located at the top of the greenhouse and it must open and close either electrically or mechanically. Many people find it very inconvenient to climb up and open and close the vent every time, so either mechanical or electric drives are installed. This is the first point. The second point is that the top transoms have higher requirements for sealing because there is the largest amount of moisture and water. And often we have encountered situations where the top transoms leak, especially when they are point-like. However, it should be noted that top ventilation is one of the most effective, because all the hot air that accumulates in the greenhouse must go somewhere. It can even go through frontal ventilation, through the end wall, or through the top. If our greenhouse is twice as long as it is wide, for example, if it is 8 meters wide and more than 8 by 16, 8 by 20, then the question arises that frontal ventilation may not be enough. For greenhouses of 10 by 20 meters, frontal ventilation is generally sufficient, but if we have a greenhouse of 10 by 50 meters, then frontal and end wall ventilation alone will not be enough for the hot summer period to cope with ventilation. If the greenhouses are made of polycarbonate, then point openings of transoms can be made in them, that is, we can open each block, each section, or every other one. If these are film greenhouses, top ventilation that runs along the entire length is also most often used, even the usual one. The main element that is most often used is a motor. A gearbox is usually installed on the motor, that is, the gearbox goes from the end of the summer, and when our vents reach a certain point, the limit switches are triggered, and the vent stops. And accordingly, in the reverse mode, when the vent closes, in order not to over-twist or over-tighten, limit switches are installed so that the vent is fixed but not pressed. This is how the top opening works. But there are two types of top opening, which is interesting and, in principle, few people know about. It is vertical and horizontal. What is vertical? We have a regular greenhouse. We have a vent. Here it is. It is located at the top, and there is a pusher. And when we open, the vent does not become open, that is. The pusher lifted it up, and its movement, its movement is in a vertical plane, that is. We open it up and down. This is the main, the classic way how everything works in top ventilation systems. There is a second way of top ventilation horizontal. That is, horizontal means that we have a vent and it works. It opens in a horizontal plane. What are the nuances? That is, here the pushers lift the entire vent, that is, almost all the weight, that is, practically, but 70-80%, because the weight of the vent needs to be lifted and accordingly fixed in a horizontal plane. We move the vent only 10-20% because we don't need to think about the entire weight, we only lift, so to speak, the lower part and lift it, not the entire top, that is, it is lifted by 70 to 80 degrees, that is, it should not open to 90. And what do we get this way? That is, the efforts and mechanisms used in horizontal top ventilation are significantly simpler and easier and require less effort. Therefore, now we are increasingly using horizontal top ventilation, especially when the greenhouse is of the mid later type and when the vents open in a horizontal plane. If it's a classic one too, that is, since it's a classic and naturally more, but the operating mechanism is like this. Top ventilation works very well when there is also side ventilation on at least one side. And then there is a constant movement of air and constant ventilation. In general, if we take into account and plan top ventilation, then there is another point here that there are plants that definitely need top ventilation, there are plants for which top ventilation is recommended, but you can do without top ventilation, but for any plants, top ventilation is 100% suitable, because it significantly facilitates the climate in the hot period slightly reduces the temperature regime in the off-season. 
when it is still cold at night and it becomes hot. During the day, and then, in principle, we hermetically seal the top, and when we need it during the day, we open the top vents, and the top transoms can also work in the winter period, if necessary, that is, they can open slightly to release excess temperature. Therefore, if the question arises whether to install top ventilation or not, you need to understand what plants are planned to be grown, and top ventilation is always, as it were, a plus for ventilation, that is, naturally, and there is a minus this is the price and complexity of installation. Therefore, top ventilation, in the classics, is several times more expensive than, for example, side ventilation, but in the mid later, it is a little more expensive than side ventilation. In principle, this is such a ventilation option, that is, we are about two times lower in cost than in the classic version, which is why it is starting to be used gradually, that is, it is being introduced, because the possibility and control are simpler and the rigidity of this structure is greater, that is, it turns out to be cheaper. Top ventilation in polycarbonate greenhouses can be both as in film ones, that is, when the entire top opens, but it can also be point-like, when not every, not the entire length, that is, some vents open at a certain interval. There are options for top ventilation when it comes from two sides, from two sides of the opening. Here you need to consider the points that on the one hand, this is significantly better, but it happens that because of this, a draft is formed, that is, here these vents should not open together, but they should not work separately, because top ventilation, that is, if we open two, it happens that we have cold air coming in and we get a draft, the north and south winds because of this, that is, there may be a draft in the greenhouses. Therefore, these vents should also stop at different times synchronously and should open and close separately, because this can lead to, that is, not for all plants, this may be suitable. These are the main points and what I wanted to tell you about top ventilation, mainly for commercial greenhouses, for the film version. And if you are going to build a greenhouse and there is an opportunity to install top ventilation, it is better to do it than not do it, that is, it will not be worse in the greenhouse, this is unambiguous, and it will be much easier to manage the climate. And we often have such cases that after we installed the greenhouse according to the standard scheme, that is, side ventilation, frontal, especially for tomato greenhouses, then later the question arises of reconstructing and installing top ventilation. Therefore, it is better to do it right away if there is such an opportunity. And if not, in principle, you can use greenhouses without top ventilation, the main thing is that there is enough frontal and side ventilation so that the greenhouse does not overheat in the hot period, that is, usually a mesh is thrown, then not a high density, but there are cases when all these factors, side ventilation, frontal ventilation, do not cope, and this is when the greenhouses are located in some kind of closed space, there is nowhere movement, that is, and as a result, that is, in the summer period, such greenhouses begin to overheat very much and they have only one salvation the installation of top ventilation. Alexander from Eco Greenhouse was with you. If you find the video interesting, subscribe to our channel, here we post the most useful information about greenhouses and not only. Until next time.